everyone, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool and awesome little effect using the same technique we used in a previous tutorial called that awesome background. Okay, so I have this background here opened, and we're going to now open a photo like such, and don't mind my cat in the background. Uh, <laughs> and um, so I have to cut out the image here. And I'm going to do control A, X, and we're going to cut that image, and we're going to paste it on top of this one. Oops, there's a little bit left over in here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Alright, so I'm going to put her over here for now. And we're going to change that to... Overlay! That's right, overlay, peoples. Alright, now... As you can see, it doesn't look really that awesome right now, so we're going to decorate that. So do a command control u command shift u and when you turn that black and white, it gives it more awesomeness. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to on control shift and command t and I'm going to flip it over this way. <gasps> yeah, I like that. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to now Command J and duplicate that layer. But with the duplicate layer, I'm just going to change it to normal for now. Now you can do with this as you will. You can put it back over here, and I'm going to. So it's a simple effect, not much to it. Um, you can play around with it now and see what looks good to you. Um, it's like I said, it's that simple. <laughs> I mean, that's, I know it's a simple tutorial and it's not really too in-depth, but it gives it that really advanced look to it. So, yeah, that's um, basically it. Um, I mean, you can make this bigger and, um, and whatnot. I'm going to just bring the cool effect of it. Now, to really bring it out, I'm also going to use um, a text effect, similar way. So here's what we're going to do for the text effect. So, analyze your type tool, yeah, yeah. Now I'm using block OST. I'm using this one here. Um, it comes standard in most versions. And we're just going to put love in capital letters. Now what you want to do is when you're selecting um, your color for the text, you want to select a very light hue that matches similar to the background. So like that, for instance. So just use your dropper tool and select it. You're going to get something like that. Alright? Then what you're going to do is you're going to then duplicate the layer 1 again. Bring that to the top of the screen. And you're going to now move it over here. Now you want to make sure it's on normal too, by the way. And you're going to Command T, and you're going to just shape it so that it covers all of the letters, like such. All right. Then hold down your Control or Command key, click on the text thumbnail right there. It's going to select everything, and then on layer one, copy two, which is the top layer you should have. You're going to then mask it out, leaving it looking like that. Now you can leave it like such, but because we're in Jazz Tutorials, we like to make things look interesting, so. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We are going to overlay it. Now, you're going to get, it's going to look like that, and that's totally fine, because you want something kind of like that. Now, if you want to take it a step further, which I will show you, you can really make it look 3D. Now, how do you make it look 3D? Well, it's quite simple. You duplicate the text layer, like such, and then you just move it out slightly ever so slightly, and it looks like it's 3D. Almost 3D. And, I mean, that's basically what you can do. Now, I know this version that I'm making here doesn't look as awesome as maybe the final outcome going to, but, you know, you can really warp, warp around this. You know, use black and white images to create awesome things with textures. So, um... Yeah, that's the tutorial. I showed you how to create a cool background with some text and overlay effects. Um, I guess you can say this is a beginner's tutorial. Um, not really too advanced. It looks advanced, but it's not. So, for you advanced users out there, it's not really a tutorial for you, I don't think, because 
you're just gonna go and comment and say it looks ridiculous and it's stupid and it wasn't really that intricate and whatnot. Which I agree, it was not intricate, it was very simple and easy to do. So it was kind of a beginner's base tutorial. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It wasn't really much to it, it's mostly just a texture, overlay, and you're good to go. I mean, I know it was simple, but hey, what do you got to do? <laughs> Alright guys, well I gotta go now and hang with my kitty, because my kitty is too young to be alone, so I will see you all latest next week, hopefully. And yeah, have a great week everyone, and stay pretty. Alright guys, this is my final outcome here. Um, I used a different image as you can clearly see, but same effect and same thing we kind of did, so hope you like it. Bye!